Hey, it's Brenda Meller with Meller Marketing, and I wanted to share with you, um, LinkedIn recently changed so we can now see who is following our company pages. I'm going to walk you through this right now, how to see these and what do you do with them. So I am on the company page for Meller Marketing. I know that I'm in the admin view because I can see admin view here at the top that's been highlighted. Now what I want to do is go under my analytics and there's three options, visitors, updates, and followers. I'm going to click on followers. I have 3,084 followers on my company page which are really great because these are basically people who come to my company page, they've raised their hand, they say, yes, I wanna learn more about your business. These could be some prospects or leads for my companies. And I can see there's a trend line over time that shows me the number of new followers I have gained day by day. Underneath, this is the new thing. This is something that LinkedIn has just rolled out and it's showing all followers. It says list of page current followers ordered by recency. What that means is the newest follower I have to my page is Alice Belusco here. And this is a new feature that LinkedIn has just, just rolled out. Now next to the individual's names, I can see second, first, etc. And as I scroll down, I might see some thirds in here as well. First means I am already connected to these individuals. And in this case, Matthew Flynn is, is a first level connection. Let's say that Matthew had reached out to me for a proposal and I now see that he's following my company page. That's a good signal, right? In addition, as I look through this list, I may find other individuals who are following my page that may be a good match for me. And let me try to find one of these individuals now. So what I'm looking for is second next to their name. That means I am not directly connected to this person yet. What I like to do is right click and click open link in new tab. Then I can go to the individual's profile. Now in this case, I can see Angela has actually sent me an invitation to connect. She has initiated that request. Okay, so I can see, for example, Nicole is a third level connection. That means I am not directly connected to her. She's actually two steps away. When I right click and open in a new tab, it will take me to Nicole's profile. Now, if I wanted to invite her to connect, I would click on the more button here. And if she was a second level, I could click on the blue connect button. Since she's a third level, I have to go to the more button and click on connect. And then I wanna add a note. And I might say something like this. Hi, Nicole, we haven't met yet, but I see that we share a common interest in continuous, improvement and leadership. I'm gonna correct my typo here. And then I'm gonna ask for the invitation. Let's connect on LinkedIn, Brenda Miller. Now, what I'm not doing here, guys, is I'm not saying I saw that you followed my company page. I'm not saying, hey, it looks like you could use some help on your LinkedIn profile. I'm not doing any of those things. No, I am instead making this invitation all about that person, okay? And this is a huge opportunity for you. You can now see your company page followers. You can see which ones are first level, second level. You can see how long ago they followed your page. So recency of that follower are listed here. And you can see all these individuals. So spend some time looking through the list. My suggestion is that you focus your time on inviting people to connect that are a good fit for lead generation or referral opportunities for your business. And I would highly encourage you as well to follow the Meller Marketing page here on LinkedIn. I'm gonna just show you the URL up on screen here. When I go back to admin view, I'm gonna click on view as member, and then you can actually see in here my company page URL, which is highlighted right at the top over here. So if you go to linkedin.com slash company slash Meller Marketing LLC with dashes in it, you can then click on and follow my company page, and I'll be sharing more LinkedIn company strategy tips like these. This has been Brenda Meller with Meller Marketing. I hope you found this tip helpful. Make sure that you follow the Meller Marketing page on LinkedIn, and make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on that bell notification, and you'll get future updates for videos like these. Thank you.